point of the astrological chart is the actualization of the sun sign. The rest of the planets work together to unfold its destiny. The role of Mars is to protect and defend this process. It shows how we handle challenges in life. It's the way we go about getting what we want and the gratification of desires. What can you expect if Mars is in the sign of Sagittarius? Firstly, we find in Sag what we find in the other fire Marses. On a deep level, they worry that life doesn't matter and that they are irrelevant. Mars in the ninth sign must defend itself against this possibility, and how they do it is by going big. If you keep expanding, how can you be meaningless? So they seek sensation, take risks, and throw caution to the wind. Those experiences are protective in part. Living large tends to take a person's mind off the possibility that they're nobody and nothing. This is where their reputation for fun and adventure is born. And this Mars is the most fun in the zodiac. Laughter is expansive after all, and it means you're free. What exactly they find exhilarating is up to the individual. Some of them jump out of airplanes and climb rock faces. Some play air hockey and go to the fights. The more intellectual types will have a good time exploring philosophies and even religions. They're drawn to the big ideas you find there. This placement exhibits a natural tendency to look for meaning in events. Everything that happens is part of a grand design, an unfolding of an overall life plan that makes sense. This Mars identifies closely with the spirit body, the part of us made in the likeness of the creatrix, the biggest part that expands indefinitely. Every Mars in Sag loves travel because that's expansive too. This placement is drawn to the novel, the exotic, and the worldly. They want to know what's around the bend, where that person's from, what language they're speaking. It's fascinating. And it reminds them how big the world is and how many options are out there. That's important for such a versatile and spontaneous placement. But the shadow of Sag contains a name dropper who always one-ups you with the places they've been and who they know. That's a way to remind themselves that they're somebody. Anyone who's had drinks with Olivia Newton-John matters, don't they? They're semi-fluent in Arabic too. Oh, and they once slept on the sand between the pyramids. Their exaggerations are meant to win you over, and it's best just to enjoy the ride. So what if they didn't actually sleep between the pyramids? They were in a hotel room next to a really good guy who did, and they got all the details. They'll cut and paste it together with something that actually happened. Everyone's enjoying the tale. For the sake of an entertaining moment, who cares? At its core, this is an unruly Mars. Its association with the centaur says a lot. In mythology, centaurs are lusty drunkards with no manners who tend toward hedonism and get wrapped up in the delirium of rebel rousing. In a similar fashion, this placement becomes overstimulated and overdoes it. There's often an abrasive quality, and they're famous for not only being direct, but blunt. If I could only use one word to describe Mars in Sagittarius, I would definitely say bold. Boldness requires you to tune out social cues and subtleties because Focusing on a lot of stimuli means that doubts and hesitations might arise. This is why Mars in Sag is also known as a bumbler. When you pay attention to everything around you, 
Boldness doesn't survive all that well. When it comes to challenges in life, this extremely versatile sign has a number of ways to respond. For one, they trust their ability to leap forward at the right moment and grab an opportunity because this Mars has the utmost faith in their ability to know when to do that. This intuition is one of their greatest strengths. In fact, they would be lost without it. Another way they meet challenges is by getting around them. They think there's a way around almost everything because this placement is an escape artist at heart. When they encounter the tedium of life, a fighting spirit emerges. Can I figure a way out, they ask. And they feel a sense of victory when they're able to skirt the boring aspects of existence. On the flip side, there's a weakness for commitment and a related problem with finding a suitable direction in life. Mars in Sag tends to have sizable appetites as well, a lot of wants and desires. It's a difficult to satisfy Mars. A good example of this trait is the character Han Solo of the Star Wars franchise. He's a Mars and Sag to the utmost because he's daring, unencumbered, self-centered, and unapologetic about it all. In one scene on the Millennium Falcon, Luke Skywalker says, if you rescue the princess, she'll give you more money than you can imagine. And Han Solo says, I can imagine quite a bit. I can imagine quite a bit sums up this Mars. Vision and imagination are central to what motivates it. This placement can be called a dreamer and a seeker. And like all the other Marses in fire, it relies on optimism. But in the case of Sag, it's because optimists are free and freedom is top on their list of priorities. The animus here, the masculine ideal, is an explorer cutting through the jungle with a machete looking for the fountain of youth or the city of gold. Exploration and adventure are potent and powerful, and they find an irresistible magic in inspiration. They're aroused by uncertainty, risk, and in a relationship, space. Women with Mars and Sag tend to be attracted to funny, entertaining, or lively men. Their relationships are often international, interracial, interreligious, or otherwise irreverent. They also may be attracted to religious or ideological partners. They tend to get swept up in the fervor and the enthusiasm, the certainty. It can be hard not to follow the fellow who follows the dream. Thank you for watching Secrets from an Astrologer's Desk, Mars in Sagittarius. I'm Joy, Mars through the Earth signs to come.